Hey, Adrian LaFosse here with the Columbia New Home Buyers Team in Columbia, South Carolina. You can find us online at ColumbiaNewHomeBuyer.com. Uh, we represent buyers of new homes. We don't represent builders. Ensures you get the best deal and the best service. So, today we are doing a Build Watch video. Build Watch is a video diary series where we watch a home being built from the ground up. Uh, it is a free included service when we represent uh, buyers of new homes. Um, we catch the uh, the construction progress at the different phases, important phases of the house um, during the process. And we do a little video update to show how things are going. Uh, today is the, it's the middle of November, 2021. We are in Lake Carolina, which is the northeast side of Columbia. We're the Lake Carolina neighborhood. Um, we're in a, um, actually Lake Carolina is a community that has neighborhoods. And what I mean by that is there's like 60 neighborhoods in Lake Carolina. We're in Woodley. And each neighborhood has a style, price point, size of houses, whatnot. And you can sort of get an idea of, um, you know, seeing the completed houses uh, where we're looking out in this neighborhood here. We are at a Mungo Homes uh, neighborhood. And um, this is a Robinson plan. And we actually just had uh, what we call a pre-drywall meeting um, with the builder, uh, the building superintendent. Um, and actually we did it um, uh, via uh, FaceTime, you know, video um, because my buyer is out of town. So it's something that I do um, uh, with my, uh, for my, for my buyers is that when they, when they're not here, even when they are here, I try to be here for the meetings and help them through it, uh, be, be part of it. But because uh, my buyer's out of town, we actually did a video conference and we just finished that. Cause you can see um, that the phase of construction on this house is um, just before drywall. You get the drywall mud and the drywall and the insulation is in. So on this Robinson here, you saw I walked in and you have a, uh, what I call offset or um, you have the, the um, stairs facing the other way, um, facing to the back. And you've got a formal dining room right here on the left side. Anytime I talk about right or left, uh, it's from if you're facing the house from the front, like from the street. So you have coffered ceiling here. And um, it, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it better when we go to the other side, but there's a, uh, a kitchen pantry and a uh, um, butler's pantry uh, right there. Um, there's something, and every builder does something a little bit different or better. Uh, you know, something stands out a little bit uh, from the others. And one thing I think that Mungo does is you notice this, uh, this, uh, um, this closet right here underneath the stairs. Um, they took advantage of this. Sometimes they don't always take advantage of the full amount or take advantage of it at all. But definitely in this house, actually, you'll see has a little extra space compared to, to some others. So now you've got a powder room right here. And then we walk into uh, this uh, large uh, family living area kitchen right here. So actually, we'll get a better look at the kitchen in a second I wanted to show you again. This is the butler's pantry. The cabinetry is going to go right there. And then uh, this will be a um, uh, doors right here for the kitchen pantry. And uh, that's the garage and that's the stairs going up right there. And then you have a laundry room right there because that's the master. Uh, typically the laundry room follows the uh, master. So you're going to have a kitchen island right here. You can see where the, um, the sink's going to be and to the left of it is going to be the dishwasher. Right here, um, you've got the uh, refrigerator, and then you'll have uh, the stove and the uh, microwave right there. Um, this is, you can use it whatever you want to, but it's designed as a, um, an eat-in kitchen right there. Then your family room. And then looking back to the front of a house again, kitchen, 
butler's pantry, pantry, dining room, front of the house, garage, stairs right there, and then master, and that's uh, where the laundry room is. Uh, we'll get a, some more looks at the downstairs here, but we're going to take a peek out back. So this house has designated um, a protected area uh, in the back um, where it can't be built on. So I'm on a covered porch right now. So the lot goes about to where you see the grass, maybe a little bit, I think I see a marker down there. It goes a little bit past where the grass is showing right there. This is not the finished product either because this house is not done as well. Um, and then here's the, the back of the house here. Obviously that, that's fine, the way that it's sitting right there. Um, even if there wasn't a post right there, it could be, that doesn't have to hold all the weight. Um, and actually soon they're gonna be, I think they're gonna be adding finishing off the posts in the next few weeks. Okay. So um, this is actually a fireplace right here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk into the master bedroom. They've got a linen closet right there. The master bedroom downstairs with a um, box ceiling. Now typically when you have a master uh, downstairs on a two-story house, the master is not very big. Actually, I consider this master not a, not, not a bad size at all, for especially for a master downstairs, but it's a good size master. And then you have the uh, master bath here. Double sink vanity. Um, it's a closet right there. Um, linen closet right there. Your tub and shower. I'm actually standing in the uh, closet. You got a water closet right there. And look right here on. Uh, Actually, something to consider here, um, if you wanted to, you want to make easy access to the, to the laundry room right there, you put a little, sh a little opening right there for it to go into the laundry room. So from your master, you don't have to go all the way around and all into efficiency, or maybe you can call it laziness. <laughs> but you could um, put a little opening right there. You can, you can shove your laundry right through there, wash it, and come right back um, since you're backed right up to it something I just thought about. All right. Let's see another look here. Of the family room, kitchen, downstairs living areas. And uh, the laundry room as I was showing from the other side here. The uh, garage. And let's go ahead and go upstairs. All right, so top of the stairs, you've got a loft here. I believe if you built the house from the ground up, there's an option. You can make this a bedroom, I believe, of this Robinson plan. So this is on the left hand front side and a linen closet right there. Got a bedroom on the back left. This is a full bathroom with a tub back there. And then you got a bedroom which would be the right, front right right here and you got a really good size walk-in closet and then this back right bedroom right here and something very very interesting you've got a walk-in closet 
and then walk-in extra storage. This is very unique. I, I don't see it quite often, but you you do on some. Um, unfinished, this is pretty much the way it's going to be. This is the way it's going to be uh, finished. But, you know, they don't build uh, houses like Grandma's house, you know, years ago where you, you can, it's like a whole other house upstairs, you know. So, um, so what they've got here, uh, all these framing members and all that stuff, you know, you don't have that much room to put anything down. But to having this extra storage, even, even it not being, um, you know, finished is still a bonus. Though I do want to point something out. This attic is not going to be like the old-fashioned attics where it's like 130 degrees up here during the summer. And it's just a big hot box. So what you've got is it sort of looks like this tinfoil uh, finish right here. Um, this is a radiant barrier. And what this does is it helps keep the, the, uh, the heat, cools off this, uh, this attic uh, during the summer, you know, 20 plus degrees, uh, maybe even more. And what that does is it makes it so your heating and air unit doesn't have to work as hard. Um, so it's a thing that a lot of builders, including Mungo, Home, uh, Mungo Homes, is doing is to build these houses super efficient where you save a lot of money on utility bills. This is not, um, I I'm learned it myself. I've had an older house and bought a new house with these type of fe features and saved a lot on utility bills. Um, so it is true that they're built, at least in the Columbia market, most of the builders build their houses super high efficient that save you a lot of money on these utility bills. So that is a walkthrough of um, this new home. This is actually the first video. Um, like I said, I usually do the build watch videos from the from the beginning to the end, but uh, my client actually just wrote a contract on this house as it was being built. So this wasn't built, started out as being for my client. It's what they call a spec house. A spec house is a, a house that the builder starts construction on and uh, they don't have a, a, um, a buyer in mind right away. So they know somebody's come along, they can't always wait, wait the full amount of time for construction to go through. So uh, in the last couple of weeks, just wrote a contract on this. So, um, you know, depending on how long it takes for construction and whatnot, typically come out about every three, four weeks during construction, check the different phases of construction. Lots of excitement happening soon. You got the drywall and you got um, exterior siding is planned to go up. So in about three weeks or so, when I come back out, this is going to look totally different. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, check out our other um, videos on YouTube about uh, new home construction in the Columbia area. Remember, I don't represent uh, builders. I represent buyers of new homes. And there's no cost for my services. I'm a buyer's agent. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.